Welcome to Creeping It Real. I am Judah, and behind the camera is the great outdoorsman himself, Gabe. Mm -hmm. Gabe, I heard that over the weekend, it was just you at the teat of Mother Nature. How did that go? Am I correct, or am I wrong? <laughs> there was a possibility of camping. I did not go. He, oh. had, he had nipple confusion. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's just, which, which one? I don't, don't know. But I it's very well, I could have been there. I could have been. Could have, should have, would have. Okay, so it didn't happen. It didn't. So but are you still like a camping virgin? I am. Ever been. Oh. Good thing we are only in May, though. We have a lot of a lot of weeks, a lot of months ahead of us. Yeah. And I, okay. can, uh, I can go. Nathan here is my camping buddy. Yeah. Gotcha. One nice. of my main ones. There are others that I go with, but we did a crazy canoe trip mm -hmm. last year mm -hmm. at a place called Okefenokee. Mm -hmm. That's on my other channel, mm -hmm. my Fourth Tribe channel, if you want to check that check out me and out. nathan do a little <coughs> review of our trip it was an adventure oh god it was <laughs> an adventure. uh so i i called up well it was a lie i was walking with nathan and mm -hmm. i was like hey jake's mm -hmm. gonna be out of town for a while uh you think you want to come and be a guest host and he was like you <laughs> he said let me check <laughs> uh sounded so, fun yeah so he, fun. he he checked it out and he said yeah i can do it uh, and I was like, pick out a movie. And he picked out a beauty of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, what movie did you pick for us? I picked Carnosaur. Yes. <laughs> Tell me why. Now, I desperately want to say Carnosaurus. And I oh. I think it's how I first read it. Yeah. And I think I've been a way better title. <laughs> I think that's actually what you texted me I probably as well. said, and yeah, I I'm just I stuck was in looking up Carnosaurus. Carnosaurus. <laughs> I was like, I'm not finding this movie, but this Carnosaur was in the same year, so I'm thinking this might Maybe be Maybe that's it. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's just get this trailer out of the way. Would you, Gabe, please? Right what the hell is it? Looks like some kind of lizard. <laughs> I love how they had to put it on that massive microscope. Yeah. <laughs> All those poor chickens. Mm. <laughs> so 90s. Oh my goodness. It is. <laughs> Nothing scarier than dinosaurs <laughs> and lasers. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I was just saying he's like at a some kind of rock concert. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> On stage next, T Rex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Earth was scaled to their dimension. Human beings are ants crawling through their living rooms. Ants crawling through their living room. Carnosaur. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like. It. That's that's really fabulous. That's what I thought. Like a great theme park. That great theme park type thing really <laughs> just kind of. I don't know. We, okay. Way back in the day, I remember this coming out and thinking, oh, this is just like a Jurassic Park ripoff. You remember this coming out? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And you saw a trailer or something. Yeah. Okay. Not only that, in my last uh, review of uh, the Abominable Doctor Vibes, I mentioned that we were going to be reviewing this movie, except I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> so <laughs> all I said was, I'm reviewing some Jurassic Park ripoff movie. There you go. Is, I mean, before you like potentially read mm -hmm. or anything about this, mm -hmm. wouldn't that be essentially what you would, if somebody was like, what's Carnosaur about? What would you say? Oh, yeah. I so would think, you, or absolutely. Jurassic you just be Park like Jurassic Park ripoff. Rip okay. Trying to capitalize. Which brings me into, there. there's a name for these movies that are made specifically to fool audiences that are already interested in seeing a particular movie mm -hmm. a blockbuster that's going to come out mm -hmm. and these production companies will just rush out there they will make movies that sound similar mm -hmm. they have the same type of themes and so forth and they are called mockbusters gabe mock could you throw that up a mockbuster is a film created to exploit the publicity of another major motion picture with a similar title or subject mockbusters are often made with a low budget and quick production to maximize profits thank you this is exactly what i thought carnosaur was mm -hmm. if you say to me what is carnosaur i'm like 
it's it's a ripoff. It's one of these. Yeah. They know something's coming up. Mm-hmm. They're gonna make it. Or it was. There's this big budget movie. It was popular, and then a production company was like, "Oh, that made a lot of money. That's really quickly get out something mm-hmm. that's a similar, sent you know to ride the train." Yeah. Okay. First, scroll up to the top because this one right here we have. <laughs> First, oh. we have on the right oh, side, yeah. we have Pacific Rim, mm-hmm. which was a blockbuster. It was directed by mm-hmm. Guillermo del Toro, one of my favorite directors, by mm-hmm. the way. It was kind of weird that he dove into this yeah, big robots. Kind of a, yeah, when a you side, uh, have, uh, dang it, Pan's, Pan's, Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth. I love yeah. that movie. Yeah. And then it's like his next is Pacific Rim. Rim. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? Departure. And so then we got this other production company that's like, oh, let's, let's make... Atlantic Rim. Nobody's uh-huh. ever going to know the difference. Okay. <laughs> so that that was when I first started taking note of this particular type of thing. And you could, you could call Carnosaur this. Mm-hmm. But, but if you really dive into it, yeah. you would be wrong because Shocking. Carnosaur is actually a novel. Yeah. Written by, let's see, John... Bronzen mm-hmm. in 1984, Dang. which Jurassic Park, the book mm-hmm. by Michael Crichton, didn't even come out to 1990. Yeah. So this book precedes Jurassic Park by Blew six my mind. years, Blew my mind. which is absurd. Yeah. And then the movie actually came out like two weeks before yeah. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Again, I'm like. My mind is blown by this. I am too, yeah. Because I, totally. I was just like, no, this this is definitely a ripoff of Jurassic Park. Who ripped off who? Exactly. This was not directed by Roger Corman, but Roger Corman is known to be the king of B-movies. Right. And that's part of what I I thought I was getting into. Mm-hmm. I thought I was getting like a straight up Corman flick, you know? Yeah. I don't know if Roger Corman actually directed anything, but he's big in, you know, executive producer. Mm-hmm. He, like, gets the money and he gets things done. Right. And fitting, but sadly, Roger Corman just died two weeks ago. Really? Yeah. Oh. So when I read that and I saw that you... Right around sh- the time I recommended I this. I know. <laughs> I was like, this is fortuitous yeah. in a weird, perverse kind of way. way. Yeah. Huh. From what I read is that in 1991... Roger Corman secured the rights to Carnosaur, the book novel. Mm-hmm. Roger Corman's wife went to the author of the book and uh-huh. secured the rights. Yeah. And from what I hear, the original deal deal was yeah. made on a napkin. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that's so. I don't know. You don't Hollywood. think that actually? I don't know. I've always heard stories about yeah, that. Yeah, I was stuff like, like that. Does, is Did that it real? Yeah. 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 Um, I also read that the original author of the book they told him they asked him to write the screenplay for this and when he heard the budget he was like man i, I don't think you have the budget to facilitate all the dinosaurs that uh-huh. are in my book but roger corman was like no don't worry about it <laughs> you just write it and then you know we'll make changes as we need to uh-huh. <laughs> then then Real they get this changes. guy uh <laughs> with the director adam simon comes uh-huh. in and he like just totally rewrites the whole story. Wow. And then instead of it, the screenplay being written by John Bronston, mm-hmm. it then became original story by, oh, you know wow. what I mean? So yeah. his like credit of writing got switched to original story. <laughs> he was a little bummed by it. Yeah. Did you happen to read the book? I did not read the book. Okay. No. Because I was <laughs> not... Uh, I was not drawn in by the film <laughs> to go read the book, but I bet the book was better. Overall. <laughs> Overall? <laughs> what was your what's your feeling about this movie? I thought it was really stupid. It was <laughs> like insanely stupid. It was so bad. <laughs> this is look, we've watched some bad movies here. <laughs> and we've watched movies that I will never watch again. I mm-hmm. would never ever tell anybody to watch. In fact, I there's some movies here that I would rather, you know, do bad things to myself than rewatch. <laughs> Number one being uh, Terrifier, uh, um, which I would never recommend and I would never watch again. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> Carnosaur is so bad. So bad. It is just... Oh, my goodness. Insulting your intelligence, like, on a new level. It is, it is so... <laughs> Guys, guys, I can, Gabe, 
You should thank me. <laughs> you should thank me that you did not have to watch this movie. I kind of want to see it now. Part of me, you wants know, to. it's your life, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I actually, I would love for you to watch it and then come back and we can do like an addendum and uh-huh. have like Gabe's personal <laughs> review like, on be, this. Well, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. You might. This. This. Okay. I I didn't read the book, but I read the cliff notes of mm-hmm. the book. Okay. And I can tell you 100% <laughs> there's only two things that are the same. Mm-hmm. One, using chickens to help uh-huh. facilitate yeah. the growth of these dinosaurs. Uh-huh. And two, there's dinosaurs. There's dinosaurs. <laughs> they did not, there was no plot mm. about wa- wiping out humanity. In the book. In the book. Okay. There was no like disease or sickness that they were sending out wow. to kill people. When did Outbreak come out? That was early 90s, mm. too, wasn't Gabe, it? Were they, I felt like they were trying to pull in a little bit of Outbreak, outbreak into this, too. Like, Let's you know, see. How, cast a wide net. 1995, I just saw it right there. Oh, okay. Okay, well, so 93, after. okay, no, it's a All little... Right. Yeah, okay, doesn't look like it. Outbreak yeah. came out in 19... Did it say 95? Yeah, 95. Okay. okay. No correlation there. Another one that rips off Carnosaur. <laughs> exactly. This is like the OG Jurassic Park it's, outbreak. It's that band that just inspires a hundred bands. Who knew? Exactly. <laughs> but it never gets the credit never that it should. Never gets the credit it should. Everybody else gets more fame. Oh yeah. Now I'm pissed off for Carnosaur. <laughs> <laughs> they replaced. It seems to be like. However, the <laughs> Carnosaur the book did have a nymphomaniac in it, so <laughs> I think. We may have missed out a little bit Apparently. on that one. They're like, get rid of the nymphomaniac, throw in some kind of plague that's going to kill people. Yeah. Okay, that seems like a fair trade-off. <laughs> Let's just touch on the budget. The budget okay. was, it gets told different in different places. Mm-hmm. But if you go on like Wikipedia or other places, it says it was $850,000 was the budget. Which is low. Yeah, very low. <laughs> and it grossed $1.8 million. So they made a million bucks? Yeah. Which isn't bad, but for, I mean, it only just doubled its money a Mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah. So that's not a great return. No. So it didn't really do anything, but, you know, it became, Carnosaur became a cult classic and Mm -hmm. is known as one of those mockbuster type deals. Uh Anybody who has watched, Gabe knows because he's heard me say it a hundred times, and we've had personal conversations before, I love practical effects. Yes. I, I feel the same way. This movie made me hate him. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, the practical effect was a freaking like foam puppet. <laughs> but that's what that's what practical effects are. They're well, just <laughs> but usually a little more to it than that. <laughs> but this movie sucked, but I still enjoyed. Other than <laughs> then the T-Rex. The hand had, puppets. The T-Rex had some kind of weird <laughs> thing with its knuckles always like. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> he had like spinal problems. <laughs> and, it, and its hand an was always just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the weirdest. That's how they actually moved Judah. They did research with okay. paleontologists and realized <laughs> that's how they, those jerky movements. That's it. Okay. That's how they actually moved. This was, uh, all the effects were done by John Beekler. Mm-hmm. Who has had a hand in he has a, a resume. ton of amazing mm-hmm. horror Quotes. movies like <laughs> Trolls, <laughs> Reanimator, Ghoulies, uh-huh. From Beyond, Friday the 13th, Part 7. <laughs> Good for you. You finally made it. <laughs> part 7. All He was in all the Ghoulies. He was part of several of the Reanimator movies. Mm. But I enjoy, other than Friday the 13th, because I'm not into slasher, but I have enjoyed most of the movies that he has worked Mm on. Not going to lie. Now, the director, Adam Simon, he only has two movies that I know of. One is Brain Dead, and then Bones, which starred Snoop Dogg. I did read that Dr. Uh, Oh, shoot. I don't remember her name. I mean, but the actress's (sighs) name name. was Diane. Diane Lalad. Yeah, Lalad. Her daughter... Was the one of the lead roles in Jurassic yeah, Park? Yeah, Laura Dern. Laura Dern. So, exactly. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, I also read that Di- Diane Ladd, uh, Roger Corman approached her and she read the script and she was like, This no, is thank garbage. You. No, thank you. And yeah. he was like, 
okay, what if I add a zero? And she's like, let's do yeah. this. <laughs> let's do this. So sad. Clint Howard, who is Ron Howard's brother. Yeah. He was in he was Carnosaur. In a, a little, not a yeah. big role. No, but he was eating. He was eating, eating chicken. Chicken, yeah. While walking around a chicken coop. Yep. Uh-huh. And then he got his head bit right off. <laughs> uh, he's the uncle of Bryce Dallas Howard, who's in Jurassic World. Oh yeah. Clint Howard did that ice cream man yeah, one ice that cream scared man. the crap out of me <laughs> as a kid. That was... And he wasn't he in Star Trek. Like as a child actor, he may have been. I think he was. He was. Yeah. The original Star yes. Trek. Yes. I did. I know you didn't. You thought <laughs> so the practical effects made you hate practical <laughs> effects, but I still, I still no, enjoyed he, it for what they had budget wise. Yeah. I would say kudos. Roman showed off his wares, an eighteen foot tall Tyrannosaurus wow. Rex, a much smaller Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> A hand puppet Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex and a man in a Tyrannosaurus Rex suit. Whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Now, if they didn't use that, did they? Choose no. This summer, between seeing one dinosaur <laughs> <from> the <laughs> sea, much as I'm proud of Carnosaur, I would probably recommend Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can agree that I would hope that people would see two dinosaur movies this summer. So okay. In fact, it would make a very interesting... I don't know. Me, Even though it would... It's goofy. Uh-huh. I get I seeing those him there standing next to that legitimately. How did it say fifteen? Yeah, feet yeah. Tall T Rex. Even good. the silly puppet. I'm just like, <laughs> you know, good on you guys. That's just so cool that you got to be involved in yeah. that. And that that was just thrilling to me to uh-huh. see those things. That was cool. And to know that a lot of them, they did miniatures. Uh, at mm-hmm. the end, there's a fight between a bobcat, uh, not mm-hmm. not an actual animal, the like a... Uh, Construction. Yeah, dirt moving mm-hmm. type thing. Bobcat and the, the T-Rex. And a lot of that was done with miniatures. Yeah, like forced perspective. Yeah. Or, well, no, actual miniature. You're right. The bobcat, they had a miniature of that mm-hmm. too. But, I mean, they had a real I size one. I read that that... Fin- uh, final scene was a shot for shot model of the aliens. <laughs> They're like, ending. don't don't even bother. Of uh, let's just follow the aliens. Just follow it, yeah. And uh, they're like, oh, yeah, because she fought the mother alien mm-hmm. with that weird loader, yeah, loader uh, forklift thing. I wanted to take a look at a couple of the uh, posters. This is I, a, is there a scene with no. her in a red dress? No, and that, a... that's why I brought this up. This is actually the book cover, oh. but it's the book when they republished it. Okay. You, you know, using art Post. from the movie. Yeah. I gotcha. But there is never, I just couldn't find uh, an actual poster with the resolution high enough for us to sh- show <laughs> it. So I had to use the book cover. Yeah, there is never a time when this hippie chick no. is wearing some night dress yeah where she's you know going out to a nice <laughs> dinner <laughs> never no. whenever you see her she's either in her hippie commune or she's chained to a bulldozer you or know just all black uh you know yeah n- you know like you're sneaking around the night exactly ski mask kind of stuff there was never this uh, thing mm-hmm. going on <laughs> which speaking of did you feel like there was almost a couple different stories going on in this that sure. like barely connected. Barely connected, yes. Like you start off with this guy here who doc. is a security guy. Yeah, Doc. And all he does is he sits in this construction site and guards the equipment. And from, drinks heavily. Yeah, from a crazy people like Environmental this chick. Terrorists. Environmentalists, yeah. Like this chick he sold right there who he ends up Seeing her once, and then he's just like, oh. In love. Yeah, so <laughs> unrealistic. Um, and then there's some, I didn't even understand the uh, involvement of the government. I was no, so confused. No like they're like, clear definition of why. We I can't agree. stop this woman from doing her experiments because that'd be against the law. And you know the government's always <laughs> worried about not breaking not the law. Not stepping on any toes. Exactly. <laughs> that made no sense to me. Uh-uh. You got this doctor who randomly just wants everybody to die. Yes. And some weird, like, I'm going to make dinosaurs use chicken eggs. Okay, I guess you got to use something. <laughs> but then somehow women are being impregnated? Yes. They're what infected. The heck? Infected. 
and then they would give birth to the so no it doesn't make sense because it was like well wait a minute the chicken's poultry humans aren't poultry so how is this working oh my god how is this working <laughs> it made it made no sense yeah and these women were popping these eggs out <laughs> That first, that first lady, when you actually realize what's happening, uh-huh. and uh, she gives birth, and her <laughs> her legs just go. Doink! Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, vaguely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so it's so dumb. Stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. She gives birth to this egg, and this dinosaur hatches. Yes. <laughs> this, this one's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean the lighting's yeah. kind of fun. It, it does look kind of. Who gave it a thumbs up? Rubbery. <laughs> <laughs> I think actually. Uh, Ebert. No. Yeah. Uh, Robert. Wait. Oh, you're right. Wait, was it Ebert or the other guy? It was, it, was, it was either Siskel or Ebert. One of them said that it sucked, and the other yes. one was like, I thought it was I kind of liked good. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was decent. Uh huh. It says, it says Siskel. Siskel. So yes. Gene Siskel of Siskel so and Ebert. Ebert. Now, they left out <laughs> Ebert's quotes, which said, worst movie of 1993. <laughs> But Siskel <laughs> selected that one. Gave it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. So there you go. I liked this movie. Don't take our word for it. Siskel <laughs> said it was a winner. That's That's cool. Cool. Spoilers alert. Government comes in and kills everybody. Yeah. Literally everybody. <laughs> they just they just freaking even like, the characters you fell in love with. Yeah. This that guy who's holding the chick in that poster, he's he's fighting to get a serum to heal her uh-huh. from <laughs> giving birth to a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> This close to stopping it. And he he gets it. He injects her. You know, it's all like, yay. <laughs> and these freaking government dudes. <laughs> in hazmat suits. <laughs> Come in. With a flamethrower and an and yeah. AK-47. And they just kill them <laughs> and then burn the bodies, which is so As funny. You do. Because before they were so like... We can't break the law. <laughs> but as soon as they decided they were going to break the law, the law, damn, they just were well, now like, there's, now there's a quarantine. The chain's off. That's just yeah. going and destroy just go. everybody. Yes. The weirdest thing. <laughs> I cannot give this movie more than, it's difficult to say even with the buddy bump, but if you're going to watch it by yourself, it's it's a three. I'm passing. That high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm passing so hard on this movie. <laughs> this is is so so bad. The only redeemable thing to me is, I don't know if you ever had like hand puppets. Yeah, and you're playing with a little kid, <laughs> and to get him laugh, you go up to him and you're like, mmm, yeah, <laughs> that's what you're watching in this movie. You're watching a guy with a hand puppet. And the puppet's always going for their belly. <laughs> like, mmm, 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 mmm. Well, that's where the good stuff is. <laughs> I'm gonna say, of, did that dude get his wiener bit off? I think so. <laughs> That's the that was what was implied. I don't know. So what's your score? Um, <laughs> one point two. Well, that is that's bad. <laughs> Lowest score we've had yet. <laughs> it's pretty good. I, I have a I had a hard time. I okay. I well, I gave Terrifier a zero, but I said mm. they actually made the movie, so I gave him a one. Okay, yeah, there was there are mouths to feed. Yeah. That some of the spe- the uh, special effects, I have to give them credit where credit's due with the budget and the time they had, were though I mean, well done with the constraints they had. Yes, you have to take that into consideration. Which wh- that is, I read that with how fast they were doing because Corman had it in the ba- you know on the books like we're going to make this movie. Yeah, and then once he s- heard the rumors coming down the grapevine that Jurassic Park was being released, then it kicked. They had had the rights, but then it kicked into gear. Like, let's make this movie. Exactly, and uh, that's how it beat by a few weeks mm-hmm. Jurassic Park in the theater. The final shot is just a zoomed in shot of the poster in the trail in the trailer that they're burning down. Okay, of the mad comic guy. Yes. Oh, Why okay. Why worry? And yes. It just starts burns up. I I remember thinking because it looked like the fire actually was yeah. a smile. Yeah. And I was like, wow, how did that they well do that? Yeah. I thought that was. I don't know if I find any connection based on that, but I was like, there has to be based on how front and center it was. I think it's what Roger Corman said when he signed the check. Let <laughs> 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 yeah. me worry. I don't know. I I mean, Roger Corman has a lot of movies under his yes, belt. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. You know, he had, <laughs> most of them are. I don't hideous. feel like this would. 
I don't know how many Roger Corman films I've seen, but I don't think I would recommend this as a first one. No. But it has has two sequels and yeah. two spin-offs. Yeah, I was surprised by that too. Which is crazy. I did read the second one was better. <laughs> <laughs> Except what I it may be, yeah. but they also just reused footage from the first one oh, really? for the dinosaurs to cut oh, costs. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I did read that. So I'm kind of like, uh, do I really want to waste my time? No, you don't. I don't know. Don't waste I, I am interested in potentially watching the spinoff, which I think is just called Raptors or something mm. like that. I'm trying to think of a positive way to say something. And all I can say is, potentially, if you are a huge Roger Corman fan <laughs> and you feel like, and you're a completionist, and you feel like you oh, have to watch every this, one of yeah, his movies. collecting. You need to watch this movie. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> if you're a horror fan, yeah. you don't necessarily have to watch this no, movie. And so. even if you're just a horror fan that wants to get together with your friends and eat pizza and have some drinks, I'm still not sure <laughs> I'd be like, this is the movie for you. Maybe. It, it's going to be better with a buddy, but... Yeah, definitely. This is not a watch-by-yourself movie. No. At all. In the dark, by alone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I watched it by myself, and I was like, sad. this movie is so boring. <laughs> this is <laughs> so, so boring. You got anything else to add? No, the only reason I came across this was uh, a Reddit contributor recommended it. And I don't know who you are, dude, <laughs> but I'm coming for you. <laughs> we need to find this Reddit post. <laughs> And just destroy them yeah. and let them know troll this guy. that we wasted so much of Oof. our time. You said it on was this. good. Yeah, okay. Well, to each his own. <laughs> this has been Creeping It Real. I am Judah. Behind the camera is Gabe. And our guest host is Nathan. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. But don't share Don't share Carnosaur. <laughs> don't Carnosaur, not me. Thanks a lot. See you later. <laughs>